Take out your shirt. I think that's probably best. So, uh, thanks very much for coming tonight. We're going through a very important two weeks now. Because what's going to happen is this. Tomorrow, the government is going to announce a second reading date for the Digital Economy Bill. That day is going to be Easter Tuesday. Now, what else is going to happen on Easter Tuesday? The Prime Minister is going to drive from Downing Street, almost certainly, and ask uh, Her Majesty to dissolve Parliament. So by the time by the time we're debating the Digital Economy Bill, the election will be called. It is, a, it is an absolute insult to our democracy that we will be discussing such a bill in such circumstances. Now, we've heard a lot about lobbying this week, and there have been more lobbyists in the House of Lords crawling over this uh, bill, handing out amendments that is good for our democracy. And it's absolutely essential, just on pure democratic grounds, that these proposals are subject to the full scrutiny of the elected House of Commons over there. It's absolutely essential. And so if that means getting rid of the bill until after the election or the vast majority of the bill, that is what has to happen. Uh, because our democracy depends on that. So we've only got a few days left, we've only got a few weeks. Keep up the emails. MPs are beginning to realise how important an issue this is. It's an issue about the future of our digital economy, about people's rights of access to the internet, but now it is about our very democracy itself so. and whether the elected House of Commons makes the laws or whether lobbyists in the House of Lords, uh, influencing the House of Lords, make the laws. So keep up the pressure. People are beginning to think about it in the House of Commons. We've still got a couple of weeks. This, the controversial sections of this bill must be dropped for a future parliament. Thank you very much indeed. Well Thank you. All right. Um, so imagine if I said to you that I had a single wire that could deliver in it freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, access to communities, ideas and tools, access to an education, to civic engagement, to politics, to everything that matters in the 21st century. And then I said, we're gonna take that wire and regulate it as though it were a glorified way for getting Lily Allen tracks without paying for them and downloading Police Academy sequels. It's saying I was mad, but that's what's on the plate today with the Digital Economy Bill. It might be proportionate to disconnect people from the internet if that was all it was good for, if it was just a way of getting content without paying for it. What a dreary word that word is, content. But the internet is so much more. The idea that we will disconnect entire households from the internet because one person who happens to live there happens to have been accused without any proof of having done something naughty with copyright is so vastly disproportionate that it's amazing to hear that grown adults are actually contemplating it. Imagine if the shoe were on the other foot. Imagine if the next time Time Warner made three erroneous copyright accusations to YouTube, we went to every single Time Warner office in the world and disconnected them from the internet and said, from now on, you're the record label that does all its business by fax and carrier pigeon. It would be the corporate death penalty for them in the 21st century, and it is the death penalty for engagement in the electronic world for any household that faces disconnection as a result of an accusation. Even if those people happen to be guilty, I think it would be disproportionate. But what a travesty it is that our elected members are over the road contemplating taking away our access to the internet on the strength of an accusation. Yeah. So thank you all today for coming out. Tell your friends there's more of us than there are of them. And this is our best chance for a free and open society going forward. Thank you. through a committee stage in 90 minutes on the last day of Parliament before a general election will be nothing short of a constitutional impropriety and you have to campaign to stop it. <laughs> the three front benches of the political parties are, on an agree are in agreement on issues to do with copyright form, reform that I suspect that all of, all of us here today have a problem with. But whatever your views on copyright reform, it is simply unacceptable that the elected chamber of, the, of parliament, the House of Commons, does not have enough time 
to discuss these important technical measures. So the message has to go back to ministers and the front benches of the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats that you cannot let this go through without a debate. I'm going to say one last thing to you. Blocking websites. We know where they do that. They do it in China. They should not be doing it in the United Kingdom. Let us stand together in solidarity to say that the internet is a force for good. It provides freedom and sharing knowledge is going to make a better society. And we need to persuade Parliament of that. And you're all doing a great thing by being here today to get that message across. The next possible time in the chamber to discuss this will be on Thursday morning at an obscure session called Business Questions, where the timetable for future weeks is heard. I hope that you make sure that your MP is there reflecting your views in the chamber on Thursday morning. So thanks, to, thanks for coming tonight. You're doing an important thing. You're getting a message across. And let's make sure that this bill gets the debate it deserves. Yeah.